Shogun Episode 5 brought a new player into the game, the heir's mother, and revealed more about Lady Mariko's past as her relationship with John Blackthorne became more complicated. Taking many by surprise, including Lady Mariko, Shogun's newest episode revealed that Tota Buntero was not dead. The samurai returned alongside Lord Toranaga, only to find out he would now have to live under the same roof as the engine. The tension involving Blackthorn, Mariko, and Buntero set the tone for Shogun Episode 5, which ended with Toranaga almost dying after a massive earthquake took place. While Ishido did not take any immediate action over the death of Nabara Josen, the leader of Shogun's Council of Regents met with Achiba no Kata, the heir's mother. Toranaga, who had to watch a large portion of Enjiro be destroyed by the earthquake, will now have to deal with another powerful figure as Lady Achiba is no longer interested in political machinations and wants to protect her son from those who may try to usurp his title. Lastly, Mariko and Blackthorn are no longer on good terms after the former revealed her life story to the latter. Lady Achiba's return in Shogun. Achiba no Kata is the mother of the Teiko's heir, having been the only of Nakamura Hitoshi's consorts to bear the ruler a child. At the beginning of Shogun, Achiba was essentially being kept as a hostage in Toranaga's castle in Edo, which increased the tension between the Lord of Kanto and the Council of Regents. In theory, the regent should rule on behalf of the Teiko's son until Ichio turns 16. However, Ishido and the rest of the Council of Regents feared that Toranaga, who was growing more powerful by the day, wanted to take over. Now, Shogun reveals that the heir's mother is not only fully aware of the political games being played over her son's title, but is also taking part in the conflict. Achiba is speaking directly to Ishido and seems to have a massive influence over him and the rest of the regions, which makes sense given how the council should protect the interest of the air. Achiba no Taka perceives Toranaga as an enemy and has chosen to align herself with the regions, but she seems to be the one giving the cards and not the other way around. Shogun Episode 5 ends with Achiba stating that the time for political games is over, suggesting she will now be more directly involved with the decisions concerning her son's future. The series had so far painted Ishido as the biggest threat to Lord Toranaga's plan, but that may not be the case. An alliance between the heir's mother and the Council of Regents will not be good for Toranaga, especially now that a war between him and Ishido is inevitable following the gruesome death of Josen in Shogun Episode 4. Shogun Episode 5 Seconds Earthquake and True Story explained. Shogun episode 5 seconds earthquake almost got Lord Toranaga killed and led to countless casualties in one of the show's most intense sequences yet. John Blackthorne and Lady Mariko had previously felt a smaller scale earthquake in episode 4, which was the first earthquake Blackthorne ever experienced. Lady Mariko stated that, in Japan, death can come from air, land, or sea, referencing how the country has always been susceptible to earthquakes and tsunamis. While it seemed like FX's Shogun was going to skip the portion of the novel that loosely adapted the Kaiko earthquake, episode 5 covered this important event. Although Shogun takes place in 160, the earthquake that happened in episode 5 is based on the Kaiko earthquake, which took place in 1605. It had a magnitude of 7.9 and affected several regions, leading to thousands of deaths not only due to the earthquake itself but also to the tsunami that came afterward. In James Clavel's novel, John Blackthorne saves Yoshii Toranaga during the earthquake, and that is why the Lord of Kanto makes the engine into Hatamoto. This is slightly different from what happened in FX's Shogun, as Blackthorne became Hatamoto before the earthquake. What happened to the gardener in Shogun? Yujiru, the gardener assigned to John Blackthorne's home, was said to have been executed for committing a crime. The crime in question was to remove the pheasant, which Blackthorne received from Lord Toranaga as a gift and hung up on the wall, from where it was because of the smell. This is because Blackthorne jokingly said that whoever touched the pheasant was dead, which led to the gardener's action being considered a crime punishable by death. Yuzami Fuji explained the situation to Blackthorn who was in shock and extremely angry at what his words had led to. However, it is unclear whether the gardener is really dead. Earlier in the episode, Toranaga warned Muraji, his spy, to be extra careful now that Yabushaij was looking for the mole. Although Muraji wanted to turn himself in, Toranaga said that he would not have it and suggested they found another spy for Yabushaij to discover. At the end of Shogun episode 5, Muraji claimed that the gardener, who had already been killed at that point, was the spy. Considering Yujiru's body was never shown, he may have been taken to a different location and used to cover up Toranaga's real spy. Muraji's real name explained. Muraji was revealed to be Toranaga's spy in the region controlled by Yabushaij in episode 1, but the show has now offered more information about their relationship. 
Nureji, whose real name is Tanamoto Akino, is a samurai who once served Toranaga and remained loyal to the Lord of Kanto. It's unclear for how long Tanamoto Akino has been living as a spy under a different name, but he and Toranaga have managed to keep their arrangement secret despite Yabushide's efforts to find the spy. Yujiru, whose death is not confirmed, was used as the scapegoat. Why Tota Buntero didn't fight John Blackthorne? Tota Buntero's return led to some very intense scenes involving him and John Blackthorne, all of which culminated in a confrontation between the two characters after the engine saw that Buntero had hurt Mariko. While it seemed like there would be some sort of duel between Buntero and Toranaga, especially given how they were previously comparing their skills, Lady Mariko's husband simply apologized to the engine. The samurai noted that he was dishonoring Blackthorne's home and refused to get up and pick up his sword for a fight. Everything Shogun Episode 5 revealed about Lady Mariko's past. Shogun's Lady Mariko is loosely based on Hasekawa Gracia, who played an important role in Japan's Sengoku era and converted to Christianism at a young age. Gracia's father, Eichai Mitsuhide, betrayed and killed Oda Nobunaga, considered the first of Japan's great unifiers. Like Hasekawa Gracia, Lady Mariko is the daughter of a traitor, Eichai Sen, who killed Lord Kuroda. Mariko revealed to Blackthorn that, even though she asked to commit seppuku alongside her family, she was forced to marry the samurai Tota Buntero instead. Mariko has lived in shame and agony ever since, hoping she will someday be allowed to die. What is next for John Blackthorn and Lady Mariko's relationship in Shagun? Blackthorn confronted Mariko about about how she chose to live her life, stating that she could not spend her days wishing to be dead and being resentful that she was not allowed to commit seppuku. This caused them to argue, and Mariko now seems to regret having told her life story to Blackthorn. She has put an end to whatever relationship they had, saying that, from now on, they will only talk to each other whenever there is something to be translated. Whether they will reconcile in Shogun's next episodes remains to be seen.